The definition of a circle is the set of all points equidistant from a specific point. All of these points are one paperclip away from the pin. Of course, all of these points in three-dimensional space would really be the definition for a sphere, so let's further restrict the definition. A circle is the set of all possible points on a two-dimensional plane whose distances are equal to a specific point. This definition makes it easy for us to approximate a circle using a tool, the compass. We just have to pick an arbitrary point and it helps us to draw the set of all possible points equidistant from it. I don't think the specific point is even required to be on the same plane as all of the points that lie on the circle, but that's beside the point. But what tool would we use if we already have the set of all possible points, but we want to find the point to which they are all equidistant? Now there are about a million ways to go about finding the center of a circle, but this little gadget is about the most convenient way I've found. and I use it so much that I figured that I'd show you how to make one. It's reasonably simple to make one of these, and it's surprisingly accurate. Let's start by replacing the existing graphite in the compass with a nail that will fit the collet. In this case I'm using a stainless steel trim nail. Now let's chuck the nail into a drill. This point is going to be used to scratch the plexiglass, so it's very important to hold it at a steep angle to make it as sharp as possible. Now I found a piece of scrap plexiglass, and I'm marking what is to become the center. Now I'm making the mark more permanent with this piece of coat hanger, which I sharpened by a similar method. I'm carefully setting my compass in quarter inch increments starting at one quarter inch. That will give me a series of circles that are one half inch different from each other. Now I just use the compass to carefully scratch the surface. It probably takes about 20 passes to scrub a nice deep circle. But take your time, the deeper the better. If you look closely on the original, you can see that I divided it into 60 degree increments as well. But I think on this one I'm going to divide it into 90 degree increments so that I can use it like a square. I made it all the way up to 3 inches, which gives the circle a total width of 6 inches, so now it's time to stain it. Last time I used Sharpie, but this time I'm using red acrylic paint. Hopefully this will give me a better visibility. It's probably difficult to see in the video, but I'm pleased with it. It's very precise. I'll show you a sped up version of the technique that I use to draw perfectly perpendicular lines, but if you need to see the process in a little more detail, see the video where I make this thing. You don't have to get too close to the line with the bandsaw or jigsaw. 
that will just risk cracking it and the next step will fix it anyhow. The masking tape on the back side should keep it from scratching while working on it. Believe it or not, acrylic glass can be sanded down to a high gloss, just like any piece of wood. I sanded this edge down to 2000 grit and then buffed it. So it's a good idea to have this edge polished as nice as you can get it because the more light that gets transmitted onto the inside, the better its visibility will be. I hope that this has been useful to you. Now get out there and find the center of something.